Hello Colors, welcome back to Viva Barca and welcome to the home of everything Barcelona where we are going to be discussing on some interesting update. We start with this transfer report claiming that Barcelona are monitoring this 25-year-old Brazilian defender who plays for AS Monaco, Shao Henrique. He is a left back by trade and was monitored by Barca during the summer transfer window that just got finished. Barca are still keeping close tabs on the 25-year-old for next season. We are going to be discussing on that as we progress. Then secondly, talking about this report claiming that La Liga left back Jose Gaia remains an appetizing option for FC Barcelona. His contract expires next year 2023. So as we get right into those stories, please do ensure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video. Consider liking the video and please watch it right up to the very end. Barca, Barca, Barca. Barcelona pretty much added new weapons to their arsenal across all positions this summer, acquiring Robert Lewandowski, Rafinha, Frank Kissier, Jules Koundé, Hector Bellerin, Marcos Alonso, Andres Christensen, and Pablo Torre. While Lewandowski, Kunde, and even Rafinha have become starters, as everyone expected them to, however, it seems Javi has given the nod on Alonso as the first choice left back this season already. The Spaniard was thought to be below Alejandro Bade and Jody Alba in the pecking order, but he started against Bayern Munich on Tuesday, which is indicative of Javi's trust in him. Despite that, though, Barcelona have not stopped looking for options in that position. It seems the club is not particularly satisfied with the options at hand right now. And, you know, they are monitoring AS Monaco's Sao Henrique, as per report from Sport. The Brazilian is admired by Barca's coaching staff for his technical prowess, his comfort on the ball, and an orthodox offensive profile that is missing from the current setup. Barcelona believe that there may be changes to the left-back position in the winter market as Bade and Arba's game time continue to reduce. Inter Milan were said to be interested in Jody Arba, ready to take him on loan, but the move fell through because the player did not want to leave. As for Bade, the teenager has taken his chances so far this season. He has started 4 out of 5 games in the league, averaging a chance created every other game. Why his offensive output does not mirror Arba's right now? His work rate and intensity are impressive enough for him to warrant a start over his captain. Bade already has a few offers from the Premier League, and Barcelona could think about offloading him in an attempt to make some money. They were already considering it in the summer, but his impressive preseason convinced Xavi and Co. Selling Bade would definitely give Barca enough monetary freedom to pursue Sao Henrique. The 25 year old contract expires in 2027, and Monaco will likely not let him go for a discounted price. It's really well, fascinating when I talk about during the summer transfer window, Barca were actively looking for a left back, and they finally got one in Marcos Alonso, who have been linked for a very long time. We all know Marcos Alonso is not a long term solution, he's a short term solution given that he has already entered his 30s. You know, we have a young Alejandro Bade who have, to be honest, he have been doing so well this season and I hope he will be the starter for most of the games. But looking at the fact that Xavi had to use but Alonso against Bayern, maybe things might change for Alejandro Bade. But let's see how it goes. And personally, I'm not for the idea that Barca should think of selling Bade or maybe loaning him in the general transfer window. It makes no sense. You know, he has shown a really great potential of the kind of player he is and I don't see any Barca faithful complaining about Bade because I think he's doing quite well and he's, he will only be improving with time as he gets matured. So I think Barcelona really have, you know, I think our left back position is already good. I don't see a reason why Barca wants to go to the January transfer window and uh, searching for another left back. And because by searching for a left back, you know, meaning they want to get rid of maybe bad day or something like that, which I think would be a bad idea to do. So for love back, I don't think Barca should even be worried about it, except it's for next summer. But talking about the general transfer window, I don't think that would be any issue for us to sort out. Alonso have already come with the vast experience that he has. He's a short term solution. He can still play for five or four years. And you know, 
I think the game against Bayern Alonso was not bad at all as some fans, some Barca fans were already crying that why did Javi have to use Alonso who have not played for a very long time and just played barely some about 10 minutes in the game against Cadiz but the way he played against Bayern was, was good. I never saw, there was no complaints, there was no complaints there. So, but let's see if Javi will start using him mostly more than Alejandro Bade. Of course, we know Bade have been the starter for most games. Alba have been on the bench for a long time. And so it might not just be a battle between Bade and, you know, Marcos Alonso, you know, in the starting berth at left back position. And let's see how the next game against um, Elche tomorrow, Saturday. Let's see who starts there, you know. So it's going to be interesting to see how Xavi rotates in that left back position. But I personally don't think Barca should be in a haste to bring any new left back. We have been linked with Sao Henrique for the longest time. This Brazilian who plays for AS Monaco in France is well talented, but I don't think he's the ideal candidate for me. And I don't see why Barca should be in a rush to get him. So for the ones we have right now, you know, they are quite good and we should have it and manage it like that. Then on to the next story of discussion. Barcelona's pursuit of Valencia, Jose Gaia, was never a secret. Barca tried and tried, but Valencia continued to play hardball. Barca were forced to look elsewhere and on came a certain Marcos Alonso from Chelsea. For now, the left side of the defense is more than covered. Alejandro Bardes' recent search is more than appealing, while the likes of Jody Alba and Alonso himself are capable covers. The issue, however, remains the fact that Barcelona wants to secure someone who represents a better future. In that regard, it's very much understood that Alonso is only a contingency plan as he has only arrived on a short-term contract. As far as Jody Alba is concerned, he will lose his relevance over the next few months. Leaving Bade the only viable option for the slot, this potentially means there is urgency within the management to find a solution quick. For that, Gaia was considered during the previous two transfer markets and the 27-year-old is still well within Javi's blueprint. As reported by Spanish media outlet Sport, Barca have high hopes with the, you know, the Preduga born left back, especially since his current deal with Valencia ends next year, June 30th, and he has shown no signs of extending his stay. Hence, there is, you know, there is this appreciated optimism within the club, which has led to everyone believing that the, comp the cooperation is in fact possible. Speaking about left-backs, Monaco's 25-year-old Sao Enrique is being appreciated too, and there are talks that the sport will be reinforced in the next winter transfer market. All this because it is inevitable that Alba could well and truly lose his place in the next few weeks. This was evident after Barcelona tried to offer him on loan to Inter without the left back's knowledge. Therefore, it can be assumed that the situation regarding the current left back overload could alter if Barcelona decide to do the same. As for Alonso is concerned, he will be free to sign a pre contract agreement with any foreign club from January since he is only here for one year. All this means the Bas and Barca will once again take a deep dive into the transfer market and Jose Gaia will once again be in the thick of things. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.